Hi, welcome back. This is Alemi from Yeo Botanica in Newark, New Jersey. And today we're going to do a video on the top 10 spiritual colognes that people use and people buy. We're going to talk a little bit about how they're used, uh, what you can use them for, where they come from, how we invented them, and so on and so forth. So let's get started. So we have our two colognes here. This one is Florida water. This one is maybe the most popular spiritual cologne in the world. It's called Florida water only because it has flowers and, and things that seem almost paradise-like on the label, but it was really invented in New York and then moved to New Jersey, the company. So uh, this is a very citrusy scent. It's almost like a lime, more lime with just a touch of lemon versus 1800 that is a little bit more uh, lemony. So people used it as an astringent, they used it as an aftershave, they used it for body purposes, uh, kind of a scalp cleanse, they used it as a foot soak, all of these different things for physically the body. However, after people started using Florida water, they realized that it had all these paranormal uh, qualities, so they started using it as a spiritual cologne. They started using it in spiritual baths, they used it in spiritual ceremonies uh, to clear, to push, and to pull. So this is one of the reasons why Florida water is so, so popular because it plays all of these different roles depending on how you're using it and depending on your intention. And so no matter where you go, this is a staple, right? So now we talk a little bit about 1800. 1800 is really a nice alternative to Florida water. Uh, 1800, as I said before, has a little bit more of a lemon scent and not as much bite. It's not as, ag as aggressive, if you will, as Florida water in terms of scent. Florida water is more unisex. 1800 has a slightly more masculine slant in terms of the scent. Uh, but I really like using 1800. I think it's a really good alternative to Florida water, but it also has a slightly different vibration. Negativity in a room is also really good to use this, or if a person is walking with negativity, as in a dark spirit or something like that, it's really good to incorporate 1800 in a spiritual bath. These are the ones that we would use for luck. These would be integrated in spiritual baths. Uh, you can use them by themselves, and so on. So the first one we're gonna talk about is tobacco water. This one is really, really great for luck. It's great for luck, it's great for people who work with Indian spirits, um, any kind of ancestral spirit, guide spirits, because I would have to say maybe 50%, if not 70% of all spirits deal with tobacco in some way. And that's really from the smoke element, which we can cover in another video. But in this one, uh, tobacco water is really, really great for luck. And it's good to incorporate when you're doing spiritual baths for yourself, for your own luck, for your own progress. This one is sandalwood water. And here we've got some sandalwood chips. You know, these come in various sizes, but this is really where this came from. And so we know that in the Bible, it talks about sandalwood being one of the gifts that was brought to Christ. And so this is really, really great for if you're a person who uh, does a lot of prayer work, if you're doing a prayer circle, if you're doing seance, uh, also for luck, baths. Sandalwood water is excellent for that, and it has a very nice kind of sweet, kind of sweet, oh, I'm not going to open it for the video, we'll be here all day, uh, has a nice sweet scent to it. Here we have rose water, rose water or rose cologne, oh my god, Whew, smells really good. Rose is used for love work, attraction work, peace work. Uh, money work, 
used across the board, right? Um, so roses, roses incorporated in spiritual baths are excellent in all ways. This is really good also to incorporate in a sweet bath for family, like if you're having family issues at home and you want to kind of like sweeten and calm the energy, rose water is great for that. Uh, we have lavender. Lavender also, this is the one that I talked about before that can cut and that can pull. So this is a cutting and pulling. Uh, lavender cologne is really great for that. So you can use it for attraction work, for peace work, calming, but also if you're taking a spiritual bath that is to unblock but to open your roads, this is also really great to incorporate for that. And so here, of course, most colognes and most spiritual things come from things in nature. And so we've got great lavender here, beautiful, smells fantastic. And of course, we've got the, the lavender water. Okay, so here we've got our last four. We've got our seven African powers, Kananga water, we've got money, and we've got open roads. Here, the seven African powers is extremely popular, extremely popular in circles uh, for people who are in um, Afro-Latin traditions. And so Severn African Powers is excellent for luck, excellent for breakthrough, uh, really good for um, luck baths, doing open road work. If you're gonna go on a job interview, this is great to just kind of pass around yourself, smell it, pass it around, just really to, to, to kind of bring your own personal luck forward, excellent. Uh, seven African powers. Kananga water. Kananga water really uh, became popular in Jamaica, believe it or not. And uh, the word Kananga, they say that possibly comes from the deity Kalunga, and it's a Kikongo word. And so when I learned that, I was like, wow, that's so interesting. But Kananga water, this one is excellent for men. It's great for women but men really seem to get a nice kick out of this. And whenever I give it to men, I notice that, that they seem to really be attracted to the scent. And I think also because it's very unisex in scent. It can work really great for a woman, but it can work really great for a man. And so Kananga water is great for luck. It's great for open roads, protection, money drawing. Oh, I can't even begin to tell you what the scent is like. It's like just a touch of flower with a little bit of sandalwood, a little bit of tobacco, just like kind of this nice mix. And here, everybody likes this, money. So money colognes are great. We have here also open roads. So open roads, just before I go too much into money, open roads can be used with Kananga. It can be used with Florida water. Almost everything open roads can be used with, provided that it's not something really, really dark. And so using these two together would be fantastic. Using these two together would be fantastic right? U using these two together would be good. But this is almost like a road opener by itself. So it's kind of moot. So road, the open road cologne is great for, again, looking for work, opening up a situation. This can also be added to a little bit of love work, right? Because you want to open things up. Uh, money, is always great. This is good to make your own personal cologne. You can add some of this to your cologne just like any of the other ones. You can add it to if you're wanting to make your own cologne. Uh, this is great for doing money work. It's good to sprinkle around a money altar. Good for a job interview or if you work part-time and you want to get more hours. It's really good to like, you know, kind of pat yourself with this before going to work and praying about what it is that you want. This is Alemi from Yeo Botanica. Good luck and see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, definitely like us, give us a thumbs up, share us with others, send us your comments, come visit us in the store and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. See you next time.